Here is your latest African news. Niger At least two killed, 18 wounded by French military in Niger. Niger's government says two people were killed and 18 wounded after a French military convoy heading to Mali was blocked by protesters angry at the failure of French forces to rein in terrorism in the region. The armed vehicles and logistics trucks had crossed the border last week after being blocked in Burkina Faso for a week after demonstrations about the lack of security there. People have been protesting the failure of both the Burkina Bay authorities and French forces to stop mounting violence by Islamic militants. Anger about French military presence in its former colonies has been rising in Niger, Burkina Faso and other countries in West Africa's Sahel region where France has thousands of troops to fight affiliates of Al-Qaeda and Islamic State. Last week, Hundreds of people in Burkina Bay city of Kaya blocked the French convoy which is on its way from Cote d'Ivoire to Mali. Africa-wide African Union rejects travel bans amid new COVID-19 variant. The African Union has cautioned countries across the world against imposing quick travel bans on travelers from the continent in the wake of a new variant of the COVID-19 virus said to be more infectious. Dr. John Gengasong, director of the Africa Center for Disease Control and Prevention, said the history of the pandemic had indicated travel bans served little purpose in managing the spread of the virus. The African CDC's stance comes two days after South Africa's National Institute for Communicable Diseases announced it had detected a new variant seen as a superbug version of the SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. But hours after its detection, Western countries including UK, Germany and the US imposed flight bans on South Africa and six of its neighbors where the variant had been detected. Canada, Morocco, Russia and several others also imposed bans on the South African countries. Africa-wide Akon joins the hashtag no more movement to defend Africa. The No More movement is getting greater acceptance in Africa and all over the world at large with singers, songwriters and human rights campaigner Akon joining and advocating for the movement. The No More movement took place last week in several parts of the world and the recognition it received accordingly shows that Africa and other countries are clearly showing solidarity with not only Ethiopia but Africa as a whole. The movement apparently manifests that Ethiopia has been emerging once again as a beacon of an African freedom struggle. South Africa President calls for lift of Omicron travel bans South Africa's president has condemned travel bans enacted against his country and its neighbors over the new coronavirus variant Omicron. Cyril Ramaphosa said he was deeply disappointed by the action, which he described as unjustified and called for the bans to be urgently lifted. The UK, EU and US are among those who have imposed travel bans. Omicron has been classified as a variant of concern. Early evidence suggests it has a higher reinfection risk. The variant was detected in South Africa earlier this month and then reported to the World Health Organization last week. The WHO has warned against countries hastily imposing travel restrictions, saying they should look at a risk-based and scientific approach. However, numerous bans have been introduced in recent days amid concerns over the variant. Uganda Uganda asks China to amend airport loan clauses. Uganda is seeking to amend a loan agreement it signed with China in 2015 to ensure the government doesn't lose control of the nation's only international airport. The East African nation borrowed $200 million from the Export-Import Bank of China to expand the Entebbe airport, according to the report. The loan, which was intended for the development of Entebbe airport, included a 20-year payback schedule and a 7-year grace period. The Uganda Civil Aviation Authority said some provisions in the financing agreement agreement exposed Entebbe International Airport and other Ugandan assets to be attached and taken over by Chinese lenders upon arbitration in Beijing. China has rejected pleas by Uganda to renegotiate the toxic clause of the 2015 loan, leaving Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni's administration in limbo. Ghana Ghana to make COVID-19 vaccine mandatory for targeted groups from January Ghana will ramp up its COVID-19 inoculation campaign next month and make the vaccine mandatory for targeted groups including all public sector and health workers from January 22nd. 
Health Service Director General Patrick Kuma Aboaji said, Only 1.4 million people out of Ghana's population of 30 million are fully vaccinated. The government will hold a vaccination drive in December, after which the vaccine will be mandatory for employees in all arms of government, health workers, security personnel, staff, and students of secondary and tertiary education and commercial drivers. He said proof of vaccination will also be needed for nightclubs, beaches, sports stadiums, and restaurants. East Africa EAC bans dumping of electronic waste calls for recycling A ban on the dumping of electronic waste in the region received a boost after the East African community prohibited the importation of cathode ray tubes and standalone used computer monitors with effect from July 1, 2022. The East African Community Sectoral Council on Trade, Industry, Finance and Investment held a meeting in Arusha chaired by Kenya's Cabinet Secretary in charge of Trade and Industrialization, Betty Maina, in which the partner states Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi and South Sudan agreed unanimously to ban dumping of e-waste in the region. The decision follows concerns that firms in developed countries were exporting these items to developing countries purportedly as refurbished and good for use while instead were dumping them so that they don't have to deal with the e-waste when they become obsolete. Thanks for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tunacheki to watch our daily news reports and our website tunacheki.tv for all the latest news updates. Also, don't forget to catch the return of our show Africa in the News on our channel. You can directly support these news series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a Patreon. And remember, Africa is watching.